Hi YouTube, it's Jen Lee 007 and today I'm coming at you with a wig look. I'm going to do two parts of this wig look. The first time, the first part, excuse me, is detangling. Um, I have a ratty wig that actually um, had like a whole bunch of tangles and stuff. You know how your wigs get tangled at the bottom and they get matty and you end up getting a whole bunch of clump of hair like this in your brush from the ends being all nasty and stuff like that. Well, I'm going to show you a way today to... Um, help doing that and you don't use any curling irons or any flat irons or anything like that and this is on synthetic hair um this is actually the um hold on let me get it Ooh, she's stuck oh bless you mommy oh my daughter is sneezing okay so this is actually the um lauren wig and um she is from um, Motown Trek, and it's called the Lauren wig. So basically, um, my wig was a little bit natty and messed up and stuff like that. So as you can see, like it's all kind of tangled and stuff, and the ends are ratty and all that other stuff, and it looks kind of a hot mess. So I'm going to show you how to get a wig back wearable so that it'll be beautiful and glamorous, and it'll look like this. So as you can see... These curls are completely flawless. Like, they're not all nasty on the ends. They have nice curl definition and stuff like that. And it's easy to wear. And this, by the way, is the um, Lauren wig, like I said, by Motown Trust. I believe it's Motown Trust. I don't have the bag anymore, so sorry. But um, it's a lace front. And on the inside, it just has regular wefts. Oops, it just popped off, so I guess I could show you. Um, it has the wefts on the inside. And it has um, two clicks in the front, and it has the bra strap, and it also has the um, clip in the back. So yeah, it's pretty easy. So like I was saying before, I'm going to show you how to get from this to this. <coughs> Excuse me. Go back and put it on my wig head so I can show you guys how I did it. What you want to do is because of the fact that um, the hair is kind of napping up, you want to get some type of um, leave in conditioner to make the wig work again. So, what I'm using today is um, chrome, it's liquid chrome shine. I have a little bit of that in there mixed with mixed chicks, two dollops of mixed chicks, and the rest is water. So, um, hopefully you can see this. So, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to section the hair. You could take a medium sized section. I'm going to clip up the rest on top of the mannequin's head. You want to have a paddle brush like this with these kind of teeth and a regular comb. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray the doll's head down from top to bottom with this um, liquid chrome shine and the two dollops of mixed chicks along with water. And it's in a um, four flow ounce bottle. So the bottle was full when I did the rest of the head, but um, yeah, now it's half it gone. So you start one thing that you should always remember when you're working with um, with um, any kind of hair, really, long hair specifically. I'm, I'm going to say long hair specifically because that's the best, that's what I'm working on right now. So when you're working with long hair, sorry, I'm trying to get the angle of this camera right so that you guys can see. When you're working with long hair, then you want to really remember that the hair can tangle easily and you really don't want to make more of a mess of the hair than you than you're trying to so always start combing from the bottom that's the easiest way to get the tangles out you don't want to grab from the root and go down because if you do let me show you what happens see how it stops in the middle because all the tangles and stuff are going to bulk up right there and you're shedding hair you're losing more hair than you're actually trying to keep which is going to make your wigs 
not last as long as you want them to. Who wants to go and pay another $50 on a wig? So notice that when you start from the bottom up, look how easy that is. When you go up and you just brush from the, um, the bottom up to the root. And you see how easy that's coming out? It's like amazing. And you wouldn't think the synthetic hair would do that. So depending on what type of um, products you're using, along with brushing it from just drop the brush. Uh oh. Along with starting at the bottom up to the top, it's gonna make a dramatic difference. It really, really is. So after you start brushing the bottom and got up to the top and it's smooth, then you want to go to the underbelly part and start combing that as well. This part is pretty much already smooth. So after everything's all smooth, you want to spray it again. Just one quick little spray. That's why the bottle is almost gone. Get your comb. Start combing to get any of the little baby knots and stuff that's down there out. Comb from the root. I'm sorry, from the tip to the root. Excuse me. Hey, Jordan, I hear you talking. You guys hear my baby in the background? She's getting so big. Okay, so after you've gotten all the... I got a couple knots. If you run into little knots like this, then you can try to work them out with the bottom of your fingers. Or if you really don't want to, or if you don't have time. I'm actually trying to rush because I have to take my grandmother to the grocery store today. Um, you can pick them with, the, with your fingers, or you can just get a pair of shears and cut them off. So um, mine wasn't that bad. So after that, and then you want to um, you want to twist it counterclockwise, just like this. Twist all the way to the bottom. If you want a tighter curl, then you could even pull it apart and twist, and then continue twisting down. But you want to twist with the finger roll, as if you're doing a um, flat twist, not separating it by two, as if you were doing a twist twist that you'd be doing your hair. You only do the twist twist if you want to make it tighter. And then you keep rolling it down, rolling it down, rolling it down. All the way to the bottom. You can smooth the bottom. Make sure you don't have any extra knots. Like I seem to be having a little knot. But anyway, you keep twisting it down, twisting it down, twisting it down. And then you just let it go. And um, it's going to dry. So I am actually going to um, finish doing this. I'm not going to talk during this segment. I'm just going to continue um, spraying the model's hair and combing it out, and then I'll show you the end results. So you can just look while I'm doing it. This is actually, um, for anybody that was interested, this is a color number four mixed with um, 27 and 33. So it's actually a really beautiful wig. It's um, 20 inches, and when it sits on the head, it looks really nice. I'm actually going to do a tutorial after I'm done that shows you guys um, how it looks on my head with my finished makeup and all that stuff. Because I've never done a tutorial like that, so stay tuned. That's going to be coming up next. Now, I want you guys to notice, look at the different curl patterns compared to when you do the two-strand twist compared to this one. So, this one's basically going to have more body, and this one's going to be more stilt. So, I think I want to redo this one because I just um, want to show you guys really quickly how you can make the curl tighter or how you can make those really pretty wave curls that um, girls tend to be wearing when it's um, summertime and they're at the beach. You could always do that two-strand twist to make that look good. Whoever knew that you could do a two-strand twist on a synthetic wig, you could do so much. That's what I like about wigs because they're so versatile. And for women like me that um, are letting their hair grow out, I actually, um, when I was pregnant with Jordan, I um, cut all my hair off because I was just going through a phase and I wanted to start over. And I had some relaxer and stuff on um, my ends. And I didn't want it anymore, so I just kind of cut all my hair off. My hair was probably about 12 inches. And I cut it down to like, I don't know, an inch and a half or something like that because I just didn't want it on there anymore. And I felt so free and um, loved it a lot and it just felt so light and I could actually feel my scalp and it's just wonderful. I loved it. And now I'm in the midst of letting it grow back. I just got a hair.